Hey there, welcome back to the Tech Craft Craft Final channel. We're so excited that you're here and a part of our crafting community, and it's an honor to be a part of your crafting journey. You struggle with the stress of clutter in your home? Well, I have the perfect crafting solution for you today. I recently ordered a pack of these plastic bins with lids, and today we're gonna make some visual labels for these. Visual labels means a picture rather than text, and we're gonna do that for a few different reasons. So in my house, one of the biggest sources of clutter is kid toys. So I'm gonna use these bins and some visual labels to be able to label these bins for my son's toys. He'll be able to look at these bins stored in the top of his closet and know exactly which bin has the toys that he's looking for. But no matter the source of clutter in your home, you can create these visual labels for anything that you have laying around. Whether it's cords, it's crafting items, being able to use these visual labels is much easier to read than text labels, especially when they're stored kind of out of eyesight. So let's get crafting. For this project, I'm choosing the Mirror Chrome Vinyl from Tech Wrap Vinyl, but you can really use any of their amazing vinyls for this project. Anything that's going to be adhesive onto those bins is gonna be perfect. I'll also be utilizing my squeegee, my tweezers, and my weeding tool from TechWrap, as well as my Cricut Joy machine. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, that's okay. You can use this with any cutting machine. And if you don't have a cutting machine, don't fear. We'll go over a way that you can do this without one. So the first part of this project is simply just to figure out what you're looking to organize. Get a list of all of the things that need to go in a bin, divide it up by categories, and then you're ready to make your labels. So now it's time to find the images for each category of toys that I'm looking to organize. You'll see my list over to the left of all of the different categories of toys that I'm looking to organize. Now, if you're not doing this with kids' toys and maybe you're doing it with technology pieces, photographs, toiletries, or anything else that you need to organize, you might have a little bit more trouble coming up with a picture label, but there are so many images available to you on Cricut Design Space, or you could find an image online and be able to upload that to Cricut Design Space and create an image for your label that way. I love the use of picture labels, especially when you're storing bins out of sight um, that would make text kind of difficult to be able to read way up high in a closet. And it's just a fun way to organize your items. Now here you'll see I'm being careful about the sizes of my images and text together. I want to make sure that these are going to fit really well on my bins that I have. And I also want to make sure that I don't have too large a labels and that they're all pretty consistent in size together so that it looks clean when all of the bins are stacked together or placed next to each other. Now, because I'm organizing these for my son and my daughter's toys, trying to make sure that I'm using images that they are going to recognize so that though my son and daughter are both too young to be able to read the words on this, they're going to be able to identify those pictures and tell me which toys that they are looking to get out at a certain time. I'm also making sure that I'm not picking images that are gonna to be too difficult to weed, have too many fine details, or have too many colors involved. I want this to be a very simple project, something I can easily execute. Go ahead and get these bins labeled and get those toys put away and the clutter taken care of in my home. A quick way to get multiple layers to be all of the same color so they'll cut out of the same piece of vinyl is to use the attach button. You'll highlight all of the layers that you're looking to have be the same color and then click the attach button and that will get them all to be one single layer, all the same color. I'm also gonna be mindful of the different color options I have with my vinyl and making sure that I'm using a couple of labels to be each different color of vinyl that I have. But if you prefer a very clean and simple aesthetic, you could certainly make all of this one single color. I love these spring flowers and being able to duplicate the one flower and flip it horizontally so that it creates kind of this cute little mirrored image was really fun. So here you see I'm kind of picking and choosing which vinyl I'm going to use for each image and making sure that this multicolored puzzle image is using the same vinyl that I'm already using for the other labels. And you'll also wanna make sure that you are attaching your text to the image. That way the alignment that you have between your text and your image on the computer will be the same way that they print out on the vinyl. So the next step is just gonna be cutting each color of vinyl to be the right size that I need based on what Cricut is telling me the cutting area is going to be. With this mirror chrome vinyl, you'll notice that there is a protective covering over it that you do wanna go ahead and take off before you go through the cutting process with your machine. Once the image is cut, you'll then use your weeding tools to get through all of those pieces that don't need to stay on there. 
The TechGraph weighting pen is really helpful for being able to get all of these teeny tiny little pieces up and off of my image. And then I'm going to utilize a piece of my tech wrap transfer tape in order to get the image off the backing and be able to see it as I'm placing it onto the bin with the right alignment. I'll utilize my squeegee tool to make sure that everything is nice and secure onto the transfer tape before I peel off the backing. Sometimes you'll have a mistake, just simply put the backing down, utilize your squeegee tool to be able to pull the backing off, and then you're ready to place it onto your bin. I like that I can see through the transfer tape here very clearly to see that I'm putting the label on straight and exactly where I want it to be. Make sure you use that squeegee tool to get the vinyl to adhere to wherever you're placing it. And then I'll simply just repeat this process with each of my different colors of vinyl, being sure to utilize the squeegee tool to make sure that things are nice and secure. Now, if you don't have a cutting machine, one thing that you could do with this is to print out some images, tape them or adhere them to the back of the vinyl, and then use scissors to cut out these images that you're looking for. It'd be a little bit more difficult with text, but you could do the image labels very easily utilizing this tech wrap vinyl, and manually cutting out some images with the use of some printer paper printed images. You could adhere those to your bins directly, but I really prefer to use the vinyl. I think the vinyl is such high quality from TechWrap. The colors are so vibrant and so fun to use, and I just love the way that it looks on the bins rather than a taped image that has been on printer paper. Tech wrap vinyl also weeds super cleanly. It is super helpful and really easy to work with and super user friendly. If you've never used tech wrap vinyl before, this is your sign to go and grab a few rolls. Now here you'll notice that I did forget to attach my Valentine's wording to the image and so they are printed in different places rather than aligned nicely like the spring text and image are, but it's really no big deal. It's super easy to work with this vinyl and utilizing some transfer tape will help me get that alignment back exactly the way I had it on the computer before I cut it onto the vinyl. Now, personally, I like to cut my transfer tape down to be the size of the label that I'm looking for, but you could use a larger piece and cover all of these images and text together and then simply cut around each label that you're looking to have. It's just personal preference and whatever you find to be more easy. If you have a hard time getting the backing off of your vinyl, you can utilize the squeegee and kind of drag the squeegee back as you pull up the backing. This method will help press down the vinyl onto the transfer tape and lift it off of the backing, making it much easier to pull the backing off. And you can utilize that same method whenever you're removing the transfer tape as well. You'll see I have some overlap of my transfer tape here. And what I've made sure is that my text is the bottom layer and my image is the top layer going over top of that transfer tape so that everything is hitting the bin in order to transfer rather than another piece of transfer tape. The further I get into this project, the more ideas I have of other things in my house that I could be organizing with this method. And this really would work with any size bin that you have and anything that you need to organize. Again, whether toiletries, guest sheets, miscellaneous cords, board games, even seasonal or holiday decor that you would have stored away somewhere. The possibilities for this are really endless and it just depends on what you need organized and the size bin that you're looking to use. TechRap has so many different options when it comes to colors as well as materials, whether you like this kind of holographic metallic look or if you prefer something more matte finished or even something with like a pearl essence finish to it. TechRap can really be your one-stop shop when it comes to tools, transfer tape, and vinyl that you might need. And I'm just finishing up my last few labels here with this project. I'm really loving how this turned out and the organization that it's going to bring to my home. I love that the vinyl is going to pop off of these bins and even with stuff stored inside of them, it's still going to be really easy to read these labels, which is not always possible with your different choices in vinyl. This turned out absolutely perfect and drop a comment to let us know what you'd like to see next.